Okay, in this video, I am going to pick up the sermonizing torch. We talked about that in a previous video. It's a Brian Stabnick idea for just signaling value at the end of class, having fun as a teacher, communicating passion to students. A lot of things can happen in these two to three minutes of sermonizing. But last time I, I cheated a little bit and I picked a topic that I'm familiar with, world history. This time, going with math. Oh, snap. The war on flukes, flukes in statistics. Frequentism, Bay, Bay, Bayesianism, that's not good. All right, um, all right, students, today we went ahead and we looked at flukes and statistics. Kind of an interesting topic, right? Because we've all heard this word fluke, but we don't necessarily think about it mathematically. And boy, did we think about it mathematically today. We got into final p-values and frequentism and Bayesianism, all types of interesting ideas, but Here's why I think it matters. You and I all have to make decisions. We gotta make decisions in this life, right? You gotta decide what kind of food you're gonna eat. What, what's your relationship with exercise gonna be? How are you gonna handle flossing? That's a question we need to consider. And statistics can really help us. But if we don't understand the role of flukes in potentially skewing statistics, then all of a sudden we can do crazy things. We can do things like say, well, my uncle never flossed and he lived till he was 105. And we can say, I'm not gonna do that anymore. Flossing, because it's annoying. And that's not a good life choice, guys. So I hope that you see how today's study in statistics could actually impact your whole blessed life. Take care. <laughs> all right. Can't wait to hear from math teachers about how badly I represented what I supposedly taught students in my math class. Um, okay, I have to pick topics that I actually know a little bit, but that's gonna take forever. So um, here we've got, oh no, that's, that's statistics. All right, probability. Probability, we're looking at coin tosses. We're looking at, uh, we're looking at, um, Think these kinds of things. Students, today we looked at probability and we, we spent a lot of time talking about coins, which, you know, talking about coins can get kind of boring, but here's what's not boring, your life. Your life isn't boring and your life ultimately is a coin toss, isn't it? Or maybe it's not, but that's just something I want you to think about today when you walk out the door. Yeah, I'm not so good at the math stuff, okay? But that's kind of my point, you don't have to be good to try a little sermonizing at the end of a lesson, give it a shot, give it a shot. And math teachers, maybe give me an example of one of these that's actually good. 